we will discuss another protocol. This protocol is called ContractNet. Contract nets are used to choose one agent among a group of agents that satisfy certain criteria. So let us have a look. What is contract net? So given a user and a set of providers, the user sends a query to all providers. Each provider responds with information this information could be a price, a location, a geographic location, etc. And then the user selects the provider that is most suitable. It could be the one with the lowest price or it could be the one that is nearby. The user then informs all providers of its decision. So let us illustrate this protocol with an example. So we are choosing an agent. And the example we are going to use is actually a very simplified example. We are going to see when we work with programming exercises a more sophisticated example. In fact, this example but is more realistic. It's an example of um, a scenario of a control system. And it is a lift control system or an elevator, depending on your language. And we want to choose the best lift. And more generally, we are seeking a form of agreement. When we choose one of the lifts, the others will also agree that they are not chosen. That's why we call it an agreement. So what is the lift control scenario? We have a floor agent. So if you have a building with a number of floors, then will be, there will be a floor agent for each floor. We have a coordinator of the control system. And this coordinator send messages to all slaves requesting their status. The slaves in our simple scenario will be lifts. So it's lift agents. So each answer by sending its information, for example, the relative position relative to the floor, that is requesting the lift and the coordinator will choose the nearest and each lift waits for a selection decision and one of the lifts will be accepted, reserved and the other will be uh, rejected. Here is our lift scenario. We have a number of floor agents. In this case, it, these are two agents. We have the coordinator agent and we have a number of lifts in this case it's four we could of course have many floors and less or more lifts just an example so let us see how this works it works as follows the floor i think that somebody pressed a button on a floor so this floor will send a choose message to the coordinator to select a lift the coordinator sends requests to all lifts. This is a request messages. The lifts send back their status messages. At this point, the coordinator does some computation here to select a suitable lift. And then it sends reserve to the selected lift and reject to the rejected lifts. And it also informs the floor of the lift that is have been selected. And so this is an example of um, contract net because here we have the coordinator, we have the users are the floors, the providers are the lifts, and we are selecting one of them and rejecting the rest. So let us see how this program works in agent oriented programming paradigm. So the coordinator is an agent. It broadcasts a request inquiry to all slaves. And it will complete this protocol session that we have seen in the previous slide before it can respond to another client. What does a slave do? It receives a request message. It sends back a status reply. 
and it waits for a decision and if the decision is reserved then this is a selected uh, left and if it is decision is reject then this left is not selected so here is the master to slave our slaves are the lifts and our master is the coordinator so the master he got a request this request is a message called choose it's coming from the floor and this is the floor number and it's supposed when everything finishes it will send back on this unbound data flow variable which lift agent will be selected then this is quite interesting code now we are going to use uh, a map function the map function will take the set of all lift agents and apply the following function on each element of the lift agents so for each slave it does the following it sends a request request happening from this floor and it's expect back an answer and now the map itself will collect a list of answers so what is the answer that comes from each lift it will be a record of these four with an answer variable okay so let us have a look to the lift when the lift gets a request with that answer data flow variable unbound bind the variable to the relative position between itself the left and the floor that we got here and it will send back its identifier and sends also a data flow variable answer to get the vertex of the decision and it waits on that answer so here is what the, then the master will do after he gets the replies he will get the best reply this is a function we call minimize and then it will take the identifier of the best reply and that will be the floor agent is selected so that will bind the data flow variable here so the floor will be informed and it will go through the list of all replies and if the reply identifier is this agent that has been selected then we send back the answer reserved to the left otherwise we send back the answer uh, reject so this is basically the protocol so if we go back one slide you will see now that the slave will wait for the answer and will do something depending on the answer it got so this is basically contract net protocol we have seen now two protocols one for broadcast and one for contract nets by using a coordinator we could make the protocol transactional in the following sense if the coordinator gets a choose request from a floor it will finish the whole protocol session before serving the next choose request and also we have noticed one interesting thing is that we have been in the internal session we have been using data flow variables and these like private channels that are used only for this session of the protocol so which would mean that for the next session there will be other private channels we have seen also the use of higher order function we use the map function to collect the answers of the transactions and in fact what we have seen is part of concurrent programming whereas this type of agent systems are used quite often in distributed systems and distributed algorithm where agents also can fail and messages can be lost when we have this situation where agents send messages asynchronous to each other and agent can fail we get protocols that are much more complicated so for example 
the simple broadcast that we had before wouldn't work because the sender might fail after sending few messages to some of the agents in the group so some will get the message other will not get it and if we would like to have a reliable broadcast which means if some agent gets the message all will get the message then we have to write a more sophisticated protocol and the contract net is one is a form of agreement protocols and in general this area of agreement is quite common within distributed algorithms and under the title consensus.